All right, I hope everyone's doing well, staying positive. We're going to jump right into this video here. This is us building a three foot high concrete retaining wall here. This is kind of the most common retaining wall since most people don't want to go through that whole permit process. Try to keep it three feet and under. Now, there are some circumstances where you do have to get a permit, even though it's three feet. But here we did not. We had to stay about three and a half feet back from the sidewalk, and the city was said it was all good to go from there. And we're just gonna jump right into it. You guys probably checked out that last video where I talked about how to build the back of the concrete retaining wall, and I'm still working on the rebar part of that and also closing it up and pouring it. But here is just the same process. We put our main stakes about four or five feet on center. And here I think we're only using two kickers uh, for the stakes here. So once we get that first board down, which is the most important part, everything else kind of stacks up like Legos. This is the one where we really take our time here. You probably just saw the guys pull that string there. But once it's up, everything else kind of uh, stacks up pretty pretty quickly here. So this was a pretty quick job for us. It was pretty much in and out. We had some other jobs going on, so we couldn't get up there. But if we were just up there uh, from start to finish, it probably took us about two, maybe three days to get this one uh, complete here. So here we're pretty much closing up the back of the uh, retaining wall. Actually, we ran out of material, uh, some rebar. So we got about... 50 maybe about 40 50 feet of it completed which you'll see here now here we're just measuring off so we can make our um, correct cuts for the uh, rebar here and we also I mean the correct height for the rebar so we can make our L's that goes into the footy so we also was able to bring out this uh, cordless rebar cutter I've been wanting to try to use it for a while now it's pretty good for number four and short walls like this but you guys know we have that big rebar bender and cutter which kind of when we go in production mode um, we'll bring that one out here now here we get a lot of questions here because um, we put the nails and we put this tie wire on here now been a lot of so-called debate about it why we do it this way we absolutely have no movement when we pour in the concrete so you want to make sure your rebar is pretty secure when you start pouring that concrete especially when you vibrate sometimes our rebar can sag which can cause some cracks in the wall here now it's a tad bit time consuming but once we bring out this rebar cutter i mean this rebar uh tire we make up a lot of time with this thing here so normally when we're doing big walls we have four or five of them out here but it probably took us about i don't know i'm gonna say 10 15 minutes just to tie it and probably because we was talking half the time we did bring the drone out here to get some good shots here and a lot of people ask what we use so that's the maverick mini pro 3 that we use here now here's just uh the actual maverick mini pro 3 just kind of going down the line i did crash it so it's not a perfect i'm not perfect with it yet but we pretty much got it down packed here and this is just showing you our rebar grid everything is 12 inches on center normally anything three feet and under we use number four rebar but most of the times we are using number five the footing itself was about 18 inches thick and about three and a half inches wide now these are wt8s this is what keeps the back of the wall together i mean the uh actual uh forms together and we you'll see later on where we put a little wedge and now i got a couple comments saying hey you only can do that for like three feet and up uh, i don't build walls as high as 12 feet using these now you we probably place them about 12 to 16 inches on center we just kind of eyeball it so here you can see the wedges and this is what keeps the wall held together does a pretty good job like i said we built them as high as 12 feet tall using them now the taller it gets the more you want to put here we're about 12 to 16 inches on center but if you was building taller you probably go 12 inches for the first three or four boards depending on the height so that was just a real quick cap of what it takes to build a concrete retaining wall three feet and under hope you guys enjoyed it any questions any comments leave those down below san francisco bay area hit us up this is actually up in sacramento hit us up and all our information is below hang around people's positive it's cool to ask for help